Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and I wanted to show you a couple things that I picked up at Ulta recently. Um, I almost never go to Ulta. I wish I did more, but it is 30 minutes in the complete opposite direction of anywhere I ever go. Um, I'm always like, you know, my office, all the errands I run, everything I do is 30 minutes the other way and Ulta is 30 minutes the opposite way. So it's just the only time I ever get over there is to go to Ulta. So it's not something, and I'm not the kind of person who just goes one place for something. Like I always am trying to tie a bunch of trips in. Um, so I just don't get there that often, but I had a major reason for going. My Hot Tools two inch curling iron. This is what it looks like. I have had, I, I just love this curling iron. It is so hard to even find a two inch curling iron and I love this one. This is the purple one. I don't even know what specifically it is. Um, it doesn't make your hair stink. Like I had the gold plated one and it gives you that ha your hair that kind of burny smell and so this one doesn't so I love it. This is, uh, well this one now is my third but I got it probably two years ago. It started to chip but it was after the one year warranty so then I bought a new one that was in June of this past year and it started to chip right away um and i don't even i used to use this every single day i do not use this very often at all like once a week if that just because and i know my hair could use it trust me i <laughs> know but my hair is so damaged right now and dry and i'm just I'm trying to do everything i can to baby it so i just would rather it be like a little jacked up than curl it and try and damage it so i don't use this very often um so that was like it upset me that it was chipping and I don't even use that much. And then recently when I was using it, flakes were in my hair. So that just ticked me off. So um, I called the Hot Tools like, consumer, I don't even know what it is, their website, whatever you can call to contact them. And they will give you a new one, but you have to mail it back to them. And that is not expensive to ship this whole big box back to them. It probably would have cost me like 15 bucks. So I called Alta just to see if maybe there's any chance that I could exchange it or anything. And I, the girl I spoke with on the phone said, bring it in with your receipt from online and we'll give you store credit for it. So then when I went in and then they were kind of not sure if I was allowed to do that, but they still let me exchange it. So I was so thankful. Um, so if there were other options out there, I would buy another option, but this one, it's like 50 bucks and this one I didn't even have to pay for. Um, and it doesn't make my hair smell, so I, hopefully this doesn't happen again. But if you know of a better option out there that isn't like seriously $100, I would like to know. But um, so that was like a long story to tell you. That's the reason I went to Ulta. But then as fate would have it, I was sent the 20% off coupon the night before. Well, I only looked at it the night before I was going to go. So, so excited while I was there. Obviously, I have to take advantage of 20% off. So picked up a couple things and I thought I'd show them to you. First of all, I was I had little to no nothing left of my dry shampoo and I cannot go without dry shampoo because yeah, my hair's already a mess and it can't be a greasy mess. So um, while I was there, I saw the Batiste dry shampoos and I, okay, I have been using dry shampoo for a long time. Like since they became, started like, I mean, I don't know how long they've been around. I was using dry shampoo back in the day not dry shampoo baby powder back in the day and then once i started hearing about dry shampoo then i picked up batiste the first one i ever tried was from sally's and liked it just fine but then i went on to try other things and just never went back to it but i know that leanne says r raves about this one the sassy and daring wild so i picked up that one and then i saw this one a hint of color light and blonde and i thought how cool because Dry shampoo is already kind of powdery and white looking, but if this one's kind of blonde, then as I'm getting some uh, trashy roots, I can spray them and freshen them off a little bit. And my hair is not dirty, but it's pretty limp right now. It's pretty like silky, but I don't know if you can tell. I didn't spray much. I think it can be like easy to probably go overboard with that, but it definitely like a tiny bit lightened my roots. And like here, I always get pretty greasy. Woof, this is a blast, but yeah. So I have not had a chance to use these very much, but I think I really like them. Oh, you can see the kind of yellow in there. Um, they left, the couple times I used them, they left my hair fluffy and clean feeling, which I mean, I want 
a dry shampoo to absorb my oil, but I also want it to be like freshly washed hair. I don't want it to be heavy and feel like there's a lot of product in my hair. I will tell you that I'm a hair toucher and so throughout the day as I'm touching my hair, my hair is a wild mess now. Um, as I was touching my hair, I, my hands were powdery. Like I felt like they never got, like my and the, the powder never got out of my hair, but I can deal with that if it leaves my hair fresh and everything. So picked up those, I think I'm liking them so far. Then I was over looking at the NYX stuff and I picked up this shadow. I don't even know if I can really use this, but I thought it looked pretty and I don't have anything like it. This is the color Fairy, which I think is a very good name for it. It is the softest uh, frosty pink and it has glitter in it. And I am not a glitter person just because it annoys me when it falls out. Um, but I thought this was just so pretty as like a base color to work around then for bridal looks or just for like really soft angelic looks. So that's the, the shadow. I tried using it once and literally the glitter fell out all over. So that might get super annoying, but the color itself, really pretty. It, I could do without the glitter to be honest though. Then I was looking at the NYX lipsticks. I saw this one. These are just their, the NYX round lipsticks. This is 529 Thalia. And that's the color. And I picked this up because I thought, oh, looks like uh, my Viva Glam 2. And I'm always looking for a dupe for that. Um, which I don't know why. It's what, $14, $15. It's not even that much, that expensive. And the formula is just to die for. But, so I swatched them side by side. I don't even know if I have here. I have my lip brush here with some Viva Glam 2 on it. It is definitely a little bit like pinky mauve -ier. Here's Viva Glam 2 and here's Thalia. So Thalia a little bit mauve -ier. um, Viva Glam 2 a little more nude, but still a really pretty color, loving it. And then this next one I got is Darling. And I thought this one could be a pretty layering lipstick. Oh, here's what it looks like in the case. And then here's what it looks like swatched. A little bit more of a sheen to it. And I thought it would be really pretty over, like I'm always layering lipsticks over Viva Glam 2 because it's it's a very flat look. I love the color, love the formula, but it's pretty flat. So I love putting like my favorite is uh, Estee Lauder Rose Amethyst, which is not, they don't even make that anymore. So I hate even saying that, but I like love that look together. But I thought this one would be really pretty to layer because it's pretty sheer and it's pretty light. I probably wouldn't wear a color like this on its own, but I think layering it could give you like a lot of dimension. So then while I was there, I needed this like a hole in the head, but I was looking, I was looking at the, um, the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and it is really nice. And I know that if I got that, I would use it a lot. I did not get it because I know that I have pretty much all of those shadows somewhere else. And if I got that, I would probably only use that. And I'm already like, I just love a neutral eye. I love to just quick grab for what I know and I end up wearing the same thing all the time. And I try to get away from that. So I knew if I got that, I would probably only wear that. So I avoided that. Well, then I was looking at this naked flushed palette and it's pretty cool. I haven't heard, I mean, I know people have talked about this. I haven't seen a ton of stuff about it just because I like haven't been watching a bunch of videos. I originally got this because I thought that this highlight looked amazing. And I'll swatch it kind of across the top. I thought it was just a really pretty sheen and it is really pretty. Um, and I thought when I was looking at this, I was thinking, oh, that bronzer kind of looks orangey. Well, it kind of swapped around. I think I like the bronzer best in this now that I've been using it and the highlight probably the least. When I swatch the highlight with my finger, it's really smooth and it just it just reflects the light. When I put it on, it kind of looks shimmery looking, which is not what I want. I just want that natural light reflection. So not my favorite, I'll keep playing with it. It could be a really pretty eyeshadow too. But I actually really like this bronzer. Um, I, it, I think it could get orange if you put too much on, but I've been, I'm pretty fair right now and just putting a light amount on looks really nice. I was wearing this this morning, um, but I've had my makeup on for like 12 hours now and I tried something else then over top when I got home. So um, I'm, I'm not really probably wearing this anymore. I am wearing the blush right now, like this too. And I, this was $30 full price and then it was 20% um, off. So I ended up getting it for $24, which, is really good when you think about it for Urban Decay, blush, uh, highlighter, and a bronzer. And I'm almost out of my chocolate, my, what's chocolate soleil? I'm almost out of that. So I actually, this will be really nice for traveling, for just throwing in my bag when I'm doing my makeup in the car as a passenger, not while driving. But um, yeah, so I thought 24 bucks for that, not actually bad at all. So 
And then I had the lowest point available. Um, I've never even been able to use that because first of all, I never accumulate enough points to get anything because I never go to Ulta. And then second of all, if I do accumulate points and get that, that coupon in the mail, I never get there in time and they give you like three months to go. That just tells you how often or how little I go to Ulta. I never have been able to use it. But this time I picked up a nail polish. This is Chic Peak. And I just thought this was really a neat color and one I don't have. It's kind of like a cool brown shimmery color. I don't know how to describe it very well, but it looks pretty cool. So I picked that up, that was free. So that's all I got at Ulta. Um, I just wanted to share it with you. But yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these things. Let me know if you have a better suggestion for a curling iron. I'll keep using this one until it crackles on me again, which I'm sure that it will. I'll just, what a disappointment. But yeah, let me know. Hope you're having an awesome week and I'll talk to you soon. See everybody.